Hey, how's it going? This is Rama from Rama Time, and welcome to Satisfactory. And in today's episode, things start getting a little complicated. So in the last episode, we set up some constructors to get our iron plates and screws and stuff going, as well as a simple copper setup, which just gives us our copper wire. All being run from this very simple smelting area. Okay, so what are we going to do today? We need to, first of all, we need to move this, this ma'am. Uh, I want to look at getting the power uh, set up a little bit better than this. I want to refine a brand new iron plates factory that smelts and creates iron plates. And I want to make a basic uh, rotor creator and unlock the rest of the tiers. Or not the rest of the tier, sorry. Unlock the rest of tier two, these last two remaining. Then we are going to get onto building our space elevator, and that is our ultimate target for this episode. Now we need to think where to begin. So, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up my area here. And there we go. Right, so we have tidied up this area, so we've got a bit of room to maneuver. Uh, I have moved the hub so it's a little bit more neater off to the side. I've sent my copper up over around the back there and I've added an equipment workshop just there and the MAM is finally here and we are ready to start researching stuff. So with the idea being that you stick uh, an item in and it will research it. There's a three second one, that's nice. So this one's by uh, ten more of these. I've only got one. Um, so we'll come back to that. My petals I guess oh, we need 10. I actually just deleted a big load of them, so we'll come back to that later. Mycelia, uh, we can start that research. Okay, so uh, to unlock... Oh, what, what? New? Okay. To unlock fabric, we have to put that stuff in, so we can do that now. That's easy enough. So we have fabric. This is still locked over here. I need to find uh, berries and stuff. I haven't found any of that yet. So for a parachute, we need cloth and cable. All right, well, we'll be able to do that relatively easily, I think. Nutrients, uh, so we've got one of these. We can do that one. And yeah, still need to find these other guys. There's loads of them around. I just haven't New picked them up yet. New object added to the object scanner. Okay. Right, so we're good for now. That's our ma'am, that's our setup. We've got to get this power up and running now because I've taken off the power while I set all this up. So, need to find a place for my power. Hmm. So I don't want to have to keep running too far away, but at the same time I want it a little bit out of the way. Perhaps I just expand this area over here. Alright, let's see if we can get this cleared up here. Cool, there is step one done. Now let's build some machinery. There we go. So, oh, it's actually really simple, but it took me a lot more effort than I kind of was expecting. But basically, it's uh, eight of these uh, biomass burners. And then over here, I have a storage container which will fill up with biomass solid fuel or solid biomass fuel, which comes out of these four constructors here. So what's actually happening here is this first two are converting either leaves or wood. Now sadly there is only you have to choose whether it's wood or leaves and then that will then go into these two constructors which will then convert them into the solid fuel. Now for ease basically while I'm roaming about and so on I will come here and deposit my wood and leaves into these two bins and it'll be leaves on the left wood is on the right but I actually maybe this will work if I do this um, and select. There is a way of just selecting one, but I, for the life of me, can't remember how to do it. If you know, stick it in the comments. Uh, right, so we do that. Where did it put it? Oh, it's put it there. Perfect. So there we go. We can now see leaves are on the left. <laughs> and we'll do the same thing. Oh dear, I've got a right old mess in here now, though, haven't I? Look. Uh, da, da, da. Sort that out in a minute. Uh, wood. That's really silly. Um, let's go to the edge, stay centered, 
and drop that like that and then hopefully that's wood right so there we go so now we can easily see we put leaves in here so leaves control click to put them all in and then wood in here same and now that will work its way out through this slightly unwieldy bit which I'll hide once I unlock walls <laughs> and that will go up into those constructors up there and with a bit of luck we'll start getting solid biofuel out okay so that is sure enough that's creating the biofuel that one's much slower than the wood over there and that's them coming into this one which we should see eventually oh look there we go that is starting to put biofuel out now there it is hey we have my logs and then they basically get split they'll go up into there they'll go into these three bins here I've added three for plenty of redundancy with the idea being that when I need to refuel all of these things I just come in grab eight lots of them and just go and refill all of the burners but this will just sit and do its thing as long as I just keep coming and chucking in wood and leaves into it it will do its thing and keep it running there we go and it looks pretty cool it's not absolutely perfect but again this is pretty good it's pretty good we're doing all right we're doing all right so what is next we've done our power uh, we need to sort out concrete because I'm really struggling with my very very pitiful little concrete factory over here this is rubbish yeah see I'm, I'm it's, it's so slow yeah, we're currently making 15 concretes per minute, which is meh. So, we are going to ramp that up. It's not going to be mega, mega, mega better, but we're going to have four running off a pure and a uh, normal node, which should give me uh, somewhere, what is it, um, somewhere in the region of 60 per minute or something like that, and that will be a lot nicer. And I just want to come over here and check. I am... They haven't, they haven't got here yet. Why haven't they got it? Oh, I haven't linked these two yet, have I? Silly me, look. We need to link these with a lift. Like that. There we go. Now they're going into there. Which they'll be coming straight out of there and into this one. It's a bit higgledy-piggledy with the floors over here because of the uneven terrain. But again, I quite like it. I think it makes it look interesting rather than a big flat area I quite like that up there but I'm desperate to kind of unlock proper walls and stuff mind you what have I got oh I have got walls I did not realize that so I could actually come here and I could start making this look a little bit more interesting there we go unfortunately I can't do anything about that gap there but I suppose it's a window to show us that it's still doing what it should See, otherwise, or I put in another bin or something, I don't know. I'll, will another container fit there? No. Okay, so we won't do that. But either way, that's working nicely, nicely. I hope the wind doesn't blow those leaves away. Right, and come in here. Yep, look, we've got 51 of these already, so perfect. And at some point I will spend a bit of time, I'll go out with my chainsaw and I will just go and collect a ton of leaves and wood and, and really lo load the system up. Because I've, I've not actually even got two of my burners running at the moment. So let's just have a quick look. We're currently producing 180 megawatts. We're using ooh, up to 100 or so look, in the in the peaks. So, uh, yeah. Some tweaking to do. Right. But anyway, let's go and have a look at our concrete facility. This is the little area that I'm going to use. Now I've got this normal limestone node here and I've got this pure one here. So I'm going to send them both into this area here and just have a very, very basic small building just for doing the concrete. And then I'm going to send it back and add it into my stores over here. Yeah, cool. Oh, there he goes, look. We've got to remember this. He flies straight overhead here, so we certainly don't want to be building too high here. But I'm not too worried because this is not going to be the final main base. This is just going to be my starter base. But I am also trying to build it in such a way that I will be able to keep it for future. So let's get building. Right, I just heard a growl and I've only just started. Whoa! Where did you come from? There's two of them. Okay. Come on in. Ah! 
Come here. Where's your mate gone? <laughs> no chance. concrete and it's all coming all the way from over there <laughs> so this is what I built in the end um, it's a bit kind of mm, it's not quite as I was hoping for but it's gonna do the job and it's quite tidy um, ish <laughs> so basically we've got the two miners going I need the mark two belts to for this to run at full capacity uh, but they're only around the corner so that's not a problem and the yeah the, basically these two are feeding these four machines and that will keep just churning out these and like I say it's it's doing more than my little one was so therefore this is uh, yeah it's at least a, a much better start there'll be a lot more going in and once I add the mark two belts that can then uh, speed up and I can possibly add another couple of constructors because I can keep going in a line that way uh, a little bit further so that I can uh, expand it to uh, just create more concrete and I've kept it so it's all still accessible to come through here and come out the other side it was going to be built over there but I just found everything was getting in the way and then I thought ah, let's build it upwards a bit and start building into the rock and I will put walls and windows and stuff on it but I've still only unlocked the absolute basics when it comes to walls so I'm not too worried yet that that will come so that's no problem. So next I need to figure out how I'm going to make plates and rotors. So let's quickly hop over here and let's have a look and see what we actually need. So we'll tr pop down a da -da 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 production constructor and we'll have a look. So we can't build either in a constructor so I don't know why I did that. It was the wrong thing, it was an assembler. So. Oh, and I need rotors to do it and I haven't found any drop pods yet so we're gonna to have to manually manufacture a couple of rotors first before we can test all of this out Ooh. okay so we have a couple of rotors now we can at least get on so what we're gonna be looking to make um, yes yeah, it's, it's these three at the moment so I'm gonna do something about my storage now I might double it up or maybe have two floors or something. Just, I, I don't want to go mad, but I still want it to be kind of nice. And I also, I want it so that I can actually then export everything out so that when I get my, uh, when I move, I can start sending stuff over via train. Uh, I'm trying to think ahead, but it's always a little bit difficult. Sometimes it's best just to kind of start over, but again, I, I, I want to try and keep this area nice. So to make the rotor, we need, um, okay, so five iron rods and 25 screws mm, okay so a little rotor factory um, I need to do some maths and here so I'm looking at iron plates and more screws so what I need to do is find a little pure iron mm. do you know what I am actually I think better off unlocking the tiers for mark 2 belts before I do this otherwise I'm gonna have to go through and change it all yeah, it's a bit of a shame, um, but okay, it's no real biggie. I've got to figure out where I'm going to build it. Let's quickly first have a look. So iron ore. Right, so this one was pure, which we're already using. Uh, this one, this one's also pure. So we could actually build us our little factory up here specifically. Oh, look. I'm not going to be able to reach you, am I? Um... 
we want to do it like that? How's going to be best? It would be kind of cool because it would look quite nifty up here if it was just this building all pretty self-contained. Um, okay. Yeah, let me have a little think about that and then we shall begin. Uh, first of all, I am going to unlock these other tiers um, so that I can make bounce pads and Mark II belts because Mark II belts are going to be so important for doing all of this. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Right, okay. Doopy doopy doo. Oh, hey you. You got anything for me? <gasps> you little beastie. You gave me a purple slug. You're so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Licky. Well done. Good little boy. Well, after some considerable effort, I finally have the first of my buildings. And yeah, obviously, it looks a bit ropey right now, but that's because I haven't yet unlocked all the clever stuff to make it look pretty. So right now, it's just a big box that's full of stuff. <laughs> Let's head over and have a quick look and see what it is. So right now, I only have walls of either orange or metal. So I can't do windows and I can't do doors and I can't do the, the, the things to make these come out properly. That will all come um, and I will go and tweak it all once I have that. Here, downstairs, we have our eight, no, ten smelting machines that are being fed all the way from over here. And they're coming from these two pure uh, iron nodes there. Now, these are limited at the moment by the conveyor belt, so we're now onto Mark IIs for these. And I'm slowly going through and updating all of the Mark II belts inside of this building as it is creating the plates that I need to make the Mark II belts. So, that is doing exactly as I hope. Now, to get upstairs right now, again, because we haven't unlocked anything, I've built a, an, a hideous contraption around the back here, <laughs> just so that we can get upstairs easily. We'll come back to these in a minute. And um, yeah, we have to go up here. So this takes us on to the first floor. And here are six constructors making iron rods. They would be, but because I need to update the Mark II belts, that's why the, they're only kind of getting to here, then they're kind of slowing down a bit, see? I need to upgrade all the belts in here. But these guys over here are all creating iron plates. These guys are creating iron rods. The iron rods go up and out. or oh, sorry, out and up. And the plates go out and up there, which take us up to the second floor. So up onto the second floor, which, let's start over here, Firstly, it gives us a nice access to this area up here, which has got a ton more cool, nice stuff. Uh, and we shall no doubt start building over this way. And up here I have got six machines making screws, three of which are going into two assemblers, and three are going into the other two assemblers, as well as my rods that are coming from downstairs and my plates. So these guys here are all feeding these guys here. So these assemblers, these two are making the refined plates, or sorry, reinforced plates, and then these two are making the rotors. Now, right now, the system cannot keep up with itself because my belts are just simply too slow. However, what it is doing is very, very slowly creating these, and they go down there into these two bins here. So we have over here, we have rotors being made. Again, extremely slowly, but it's doing it. So that means I can come down here, let's take a hit, this will probably hurt, oof. I can come down here and these are my temporary storage bins. This one containing the iron plates and this one containing the rotors. And they will slowly build up after time. And as a start, that's exactly what I need. I will eventually, I think, have another floor which will add uh, da, 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 yeah, modular frames uh, because, yeah, I need those plates and rods to do that but it might be its own little factory it depends how much I can really get out of these iron nodes with the belts that I've unlocked really I need mark 3 belts as fast as possible to start actually taking advantage of some of this stuff but now the beauty is I can actually go around and swap out all of the belts so I've already done downstairs here so let's just quickly nip back upstairs and I have a few belts so I will start swapping out like this 
That's the nice thing about this game. It doesn't make you delete your old stuff. You just select your newer type of belt and click and it will replace it, which is really nice. Uh, we'll start working backwards here, but I'm not going to have enough to do all of that. Yeah, I haven't got enough. That's the problem. It's going really slowly, so I need to let it run for a bit while we go and do something else. And let's do exactly that. Let's unlock jump pads. Oh, I haven't got enough cables on me. <laughs> Try again. Hi. Gaboosh. Milestone reached. Hey, doggo. Several buildings aimed oh, at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Excellent. Right. So we have now done that. And I just wanted to show you this real quick. Uh, this is the uh, sink. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just destroying a bunch of screws. Just because I've got plenty of screws being made over here. The system hit capacity so I started just doing that. Because basically what this is doing is it's creating tickets. And so far it's created 19 coupons. And I can print these out and I can take them over to this here little shop. This is all temporary by the way. And in this shop, see, I can buy the cool other bits to make my factories look nicer. So conveyor belts can go on walls, uh, power outlets on the walls, new foundations, slopes, ramps. These are super important. Um, the stairs, the walkways. I desperately want the walkways. So I've got quite a lot that I want. So I need a lot of tickets. And obviously, the more valuable the item that goes in, the more points I'll get. And this really has obviously slowed right down now. So see, I'm only getting two points per set of screws. So this is pretty rubbish. So what I might do at some point is just go off and find a, uh, a limestone node and just set up a real basic concrete factory that just feeds one of these permanently just to turn over tickets so that I can unlock all of those things. Hello, yes. So, but that's going on for now. So now that we have done that, we've done that, we've done that. The next thing we're going to want to do is unlock the space elevator. Now, let's have a quick look. What does the space elevator need? Just a bunch of stuff. We've got all of that. That's fine. We can build the space elevator. We've just got to choose where. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. So I had a couple of thoughts. Firstly was, we could build the space elevator up on that. That would be kind of a bit crazy. I don't know. Should I try that? My other thought was that I'd build it over here. Uh, there's this quite big open area I could put a big foundation and plop it down there but I have to admit I'm really tempted to go and build it up there because I think that would look funny mm, what do we think what do we think should we build it up there that was that sound again why have we run out of power whoa come on Okay, we have major problems. There is something wrong. I now need to fix my power issue before I go worrying about a space elevator. Well, I've added just a couple of additional uh, biomass burners in there. Hopefully we can now fix this. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> How are we so close to capacity? I definitely need to come up with a better solution. So, yeah, okay. I think maybe just another couple of temporary ones. And I will fix this up in a future episode. Let's see if that holds us for a while. It is now horrific and it definitely needs sorting out. But oh, I'm not quite sure the best way to do it. But we'll come back to it. Right. Let's go and look at how we can do this up here. I've decided I am going to build it back here. For now um, the thing I can't remember is if it needs power I'm pretty sure it does but just for the time being let's just grab it space elevator oh wow it's so big uh, let's just quickly clear the area first so while I was just clearing this area I just spotted this over here ah <gasps> it's a drop pod Oh, and a nasty. Hang on. Wait. Well, I don't think that was necessary. Oh, good. There's two of them. Ow. And you, my friend, can fly away in an amusing looking way. There we go. 
Hey dog, <laughs> alright, come over now. Got anything good? Mycelia, thank you. The drop pods, basically there are tons of these littered around the map and they contain, oh hey birdie, uh, they contain hard drives and hard drives you can unlock, um, you can use to unlock alternate recipes, so different ways to build stuff. But also there are all these absolutely wonderful goodies. So we've got a heat sink, we've got heat sinks, modular frames, look. So these are all really useful stuff. What's this one? Circuit board, which will help us unlock some of the tiers. Um, so you've got to keep an eye out for what is littered around these. Now the drop pod itself, we have to open it. It will ask for either an item or power. And this one, I just checked, and it wants 30 megawatts of power. So this is pretty straightforward. So all we have to do is plop down a biomass burner just next to it. Fill it up with something, can be fuel, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then just connect it. And now we can go in. Come on. You're creating 30, aren't you? 30. There we go. And we have our hard drive. Now we take that hard drive back to the MAM and have it. Data on the hard drive sort it out. has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Before building the space elevator now, I'm just going to quickly nip back and take back all of this, all of these leaves and wood and everything. I'm going to drop off the hard drive and then get my inventory empty again. Because this is the problem with this game, is it's so easy to get distracted and forget what you're doing. And yeah, I was building a space elevator a little while ago and now I'm depositing wood. Behold, we are about to do it. Space elevator, look at the size of this thing. Uh, I'm not going to build a flat for it yet because this is not going to stay here I just want to start it so that I can you know have a play uh, and we'll put it facing this way and let's go Man, that is so cool. <laughs> and there we are. Hmm. Bit of a reach for the control box. but So it wants smart plating, which is, of course, those two gear gizmos that I've just started making. So I will set up a really slow uh, machine that will just start putting together that, s that, that plating for me out of these two boxes that are down here. And hopefully... That won't take too long, so we can uh, start messing around with that on the next episode. Excellent! So I would say that's a pretty good job. We've got a lot done in this episode, and I am super, super happy about it. Please, let me thank you so much for joining me, and wow, if you got this far, I'm really impressed uh, you, that you're quite happy to put up with my voice. Brilliant! Um, so thanks very much. Remember to hit that like button for me. Also hit subscribe, click the little bell, get notified when the next video goes up, and I hope I will see you again soon. All right, bye!